I swear New Agers just make stuff up. This week on New Agers Imagine Things Are True and then teach it to you, reality shifting. At some point last year, the idea of being able to shift between parallel realities became popular to the TikTok children. The older New Agers who kind of, you know, they've been doing this longer, right? They know what's up, right? They took this and ran. It's, it's like they went, oh, might tap that dem actually. There's a lot of content on this. <laughs> So yeah, let, let's talk about this. Hey everyone, if you're new here, I'm Andy Fellows and I make videos on cults, skepticism and making sense of life after new age spirituality. So if you want a more grounded and skeptical approach to new age spirituality, then you're in the right place. Why not subscribe to the channel and hit the bell? Before we jump into this, just to be like super, super clear, I'm not like attacking anybody in this video. This video is not conceived or intended to be an attack on anybody in any way. This is really just me being skeptical of things and questioning things a little bit and, and looking at things from another point of view and if you want to leave a comment disagreeing with me then please consider doing that in a respectful way and if at all possible if we could keep the conspiracy theories about why I'm making this video to an absolute minimum that would be fantastic they have been getting a bit wild lately so you may be asking what is reality shifting really this guy explains it best I think all it means is that you are transferring your awareness your divine consciousness from this reality to the desired or the next reality. I think you'll agree that's a solid explanation. Plenty of buzzwords, zero percent testable. One of the things I'm always looking for with something like this, as with like the ascension symptoms thing as well, and also like with twin flames, is how do you know when it's happened? Like how can we verify whether or not this has happened? And luckily that guy I just showed you a clip from has done a whole video talking about how to know when you've successfully shifted reality. One of the examples that he gives for how you can sort of tell that you've successfully shifted reality is that you feel like you've been in this reality before. This feeling is hard to explain, but imagine that you're just about to go to sleep and enter the new reality you will more start to just remember what has always been there. Because these realities, these different timelines, these different potential experiences have always been there and have always existed. Which honestly, to me, is a better explanation for nothing having happened at all. Like, let's, let's be fair, right? Or another one is the feeling that you're in the wrong reality. You have a stronger and stronger sense as you get near to the point where you're falling asleep that you are currently in the wrong reality or that this reality, you start to lose grip and connection with this reality to make way for the connection that's getting stronger with your desired reality. And this is kind of like a transference of consciousness from this one to the desired reality. Which again strikes me more as what happens when you mix like depression with thinking about what a better life might look like with believing in very strange things. Hey, Edith and Andy here. I just wanted to say quickly that this shift in reality thing turns out that it's um, more a thing of while you're asleep, you're changing from one reality to another rather than like waking up in another reality. That's something I'm realizing as, I, as I'm sort of going through editing this video now, which in a way kind of adds something to the strangeness of, of the claims that are being made here. Because surely if you're like going to sleep, then you're gonna start to feel a bit disconnected from this reality like that's just a normal part of falling asleep isn't it a lot of the things that this guy's saying in his video really seems to be stuff that would happen anyway like one of the things he said was like tingling or something like tingling in your toes or something it's like how is tingling in your toes evidence that you've changed reality surely that's just like you you've sat on your leg funny or something and then your blood flows come back not enough to give you pins and needles but like you know just enough to I mean, come on. Ugh. It just really seems like we're taking benign everyday sensations or experiences and then saying, by the way, that is evidence that you're changing realities. If you're enjoying this video as we're going through it, by the way, please do me a massive favor and hit the like button. And if you're not, and if you're feeling rather grumpy and you never want to see my face again, please hit the dislike button. <laughs> And let's not underestimate also the component here of thinking a lot about something, becoming convinced in some way that something is possible, and then going around your life finding evidence that you're right about that, you know, confirmation bias, right? And I, and I don't want to be harsh with this, but like, if I had no moral compass, knowing what I know about New Age spirituality, having been involved in it for, for you know, the years I was, you could make so much money just talking 
total shit on the internet. Like, let's be fair. And some people do. I mean, you see it all the time on YouTube. People just sit there and just say stuff. Just say stuff. Now, the moral compass component there is not going to be the only cause for someone doing that. Someone might be knowingly talking shit, you know, but other times people might be well-meaning, they might believe it. But there's a weird kind of cognitive dissonance that does seem to come in when, you know, it's clear that it's a business. It's clear that this is something that people are doing with the intention of making money, right? Like, so I'm sitting here making this video and I'm being pretty clear about, you know, this is my opinion. What I'm what I'm saying here is just, I'm being skeptical of this. I'm I'm suspicious of the truth of this, right? There's, there's a clear connection with reality. Like, if literally you hear about a trend on TikTok, let's say, of people going on about reality shifting, and you're into lucid dreaming already, which is sort of the less nefarious cousin, I guess, of, of this whole reality shifting thing, and you've already got a channel on that, you're talking about this a lot, and then you kind of go like, oh, hey, I could do a video on that. Surely the question of, is there any real truth to that? Is this in any way verifiable? Is there anything in this that could make you think that you're not about to sit down and talk out of your ass. Surely those questions come up, do you know what I mean? And again, I'm not accusing anybody of anything here, but I just feel like, come on, just take it through those filters a little bit, you know? Like, and again, I can kind of relate to this because, you know, when I was involved in all this kind of stuff, when I was in, in, into sort of making videos about new age things, I just thunk up and thought, well, hey, let's just say this as if it's true. I didn't have that filter in place. I, I didn't really think there needs to be some degree of verifiability to what I'm saying. The question I didn't ask, and I, and I worry that this is a question that a lot of people aren't asking, is have I just thought this decided that it's true or become convinced by it on account of having thought it and 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 then as a consequence of that am i now just saying the thing that i've thought of like and literally if your top priority is like making money then yeah a little bit of confidence goes a long way and and you just you bowl onto the screen you make some really intent eye contact with the camera and you throw in a few sciencey words like vibration and consciousness and all that kind of stuff and and boom you have got content in this video i'm going to show you the five proven ways to evolve your soul's frequency and consciously ascend to your highest vibrational good one of the things that you'll notice as your soul's frequency starts to ascend is that your fingernails might actually grow that little bit faster. And you know, this is nothing to worry about. What this actually is, is that as your fingernails are growing, your old energy, you know, your old energetic patterns, your old frequency grid, they're coming, it's coming out from underneath your nails and it's being transmuted by universal consciousness. And another thing is that also, if you suck on ice cubes, what you'll notice is actually they, they melt that little bit faster. And, and again, nothing to worry about. What this is really is that, you know, heat is energy, right? Heat is energy. So when you raise your vibration, frequency, when you raise your energy, you're actually vibrating at that higher, higher frequency. And so what that means is that your mouth is actually warmer because more energy is passing through your mouth. And, and, and what... <laughs> And one of the things is, is that y as you ascend your, your soul's frequency, as you raise and evolve the frequency of your soul's vibrational frequency, spatial consciousness, awareness, grid, manifestation, what you'll actually find is that, that water, water is, is that little bit wetter. And again, nothing to worry about. Actually, science has proven that the wetness of water increases when the person holding it has a much higher vibrational frequency than that of the people around them. So, you know, this is a good sign, really. As I say, nothing to worry about. This is actually a really good sign because what this means is you are better than everybody else. <laughs> Subscribe for more consciousness expanding gaflubily. Back on track with this, with this shifting reality thing. I mean, it's just, it's just another one of those really strange things that New Ages are up to, I guess. No, no reason to really take it very seriously from some of the things that are being said here, you know. It seems to me to be the kind of thing that someone's just gone, oh, people are talking about that. That's a trend right now. I could, I guess I could do a video on that. Let me just say some things that sound vaguely New Agey. And as long as I say them with, with like that, that feeling that I'm right about this, people are gonna are gonna take it and run. And I mean, wow, wow. <laughs> I mean, the good news is now you know this. You know, if you're strapped for cash and you've got questionable morality, then why not? Why not? There's money to be made. <laughs>
Most of the time when I upload a video like this, uh, there's stuff that I couldn't include in the video just because of time constraints or because YouTube kind of shits on you when you talk about certain things on, on the platform. So what I've started doing on my Patreon is I've started putting up these little sort of audio companions that go along with those videos where I sort of explore things a little bit more. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then check out the Patreon in the link in the description below and see which tier's right for you. I'm Andy Fellows. I'm here pretty much every Thursday and Sunday. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell thing. And if you've enjoyed this video today, please hit the like button. Otherwise, please be kind and ask good questions and I'll see you in the next one.